What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, Auto Logics. Man, it's been a, a crazy day today. But right now we at the Toyota of Plano. And I wanted to let you guys see what I think is gonna be the next hot hatch. It's the Toyota Corolla XSE or the X-Ray Sierra Echo. That's, you know, just my military lingo. But that's what I think is gonna be the next hot hatch. The car just begs, begs for the aftermarket to take control. I mean, the way it looks, it looks freaking phenomenal. It almost looks like, a, um, as I was walking up to it, it almost looks like an evolution of the Golf. But it looks better, at least on the outside. It's not as, um, adult as the as the golf but it's not as wild and crazy either as some of the other cars that are out there um but i love the way it looks so behind me this is the xse corolla look at it don't it just begs for the aftermarket look at the lines on it you know, look how this line here, starting from the tail light, goes all the way around, disappears right above the door handle, and then this line here goes all the way up and kind of disappears right over the front fender. That's crazy. Just just blends right in. Look at that aggressive front end. Look at how those headlights look. Look at that grill. Just bags turbocharger. Now I would love to see uh, a supercharged or turbocharged TRD version of this. I know it's fairly new to the market. You gotta excuse the wind. It's a windy, windy cloudy day here in uh, DFW. All right, thank you, Jesus. See, Lord's always looking out for me. We were able to get this open. So look at this, look at this white on black interior. This is soft touch. Not really a leather, call it leather's cousin, but it still looks good. And on the seats here, you got the cloth here with the leather. I like it, I like the way it looks, I like the way it feels. Bolstering seems good. Like I said, this is a sport, so it wouldn't be no hard cornering seats. Um, but let's step inside. Now that we're inside, this is nice. The seats uh, could be a little bit more supportive. But like I said, this is a sport, not a uh, performance. So that's the way I'm looking at it. The XSE is more of a sport than performance top of the line uh, Corolla or Toyota's top of the line vehicle other than their TRD models but I do love this piano black here look at that I, I see you Toyota with the piano black the gray and black interior this is nice this is more I've seen a lot of this lately. Um, it seems like um, there's a bunch of different iterations of this. Uh, Nissan has their version, Honda has their version. And I guess this is Toyota's version. Uh, but it comes actually from the Germans. Um, sort of a version of what Audi did at some point. Audi's version like this, remember how it used to pop up, but it looks similar to this. Not exactly like it, but similar. Um, got a nice big what looks like uh, probably a 8 inch screen got the buttons here I don't have the key, the key is locked up I didn't want the key I um, don't need the key um, I'm not test driving it so I don't really need the key but I can give you a feel of how the interior looks the seat feels comfortable And the the 
shift the throw is kind of long but it's not bad six speed the throw is kind of long but you know it's aftermarket takes shape we'll definitely see some short shifters as you can see on the steering wheel you have your parking sensors you have your cruise control the mode for the stereo then you have your phone and adaptations over there your volume control the speed so you can talk to it um, Toyota does not have Android Auto but they do have Apple CarPlay I'm an Android guy so I would need my Android Auto there's a small digital screen I don't know if you can see it well, it looks like maybe a six inch screen no maybe more than that six seven inch screen with the analogs on the left and right you can't really see it maybe just a little bit let me see if i can zoom in uh just a little bit not much but this is nice i the piano black you have your uh parking brake here looks like uh i want to say maybe traction control oh that's traction control i don't know what that is got your white leather here your hard plastic here hard plastic where it needs to be where you're not touching hard plastic there but this is such an evolution of what you used to get five years ago hell even last generation two years ago it's such an evolution evolutionary jump you got your soft touch here see back in the day this was all hard plastic all hard plastic but now it's I'm gonna call it pleather no, I don't think it's leather because I don't think they're going to spend that kind of money on um, even though it's top of the line um, entry level vehicle. I don't think they would spend that kind of money on it. Um, but it's my God, does it look good. She looks good. So, you know, while we're here, let's check out the trunk. Should be a way to open the trunk from here and if you see it and I don't see it looks like a USB Maybe a USB port here. Let me see, I don't see how to open the trunk from here. So, I'm gonna do it this way. Lots of space. Nice hatchback. As you can see, all of the seats fold. Excuse the wind. Um, I don't have the directional mic on. All of the seats fold underneath here. Donut. All your setups there. Hopefully you know how to change a tire. Most people in this generation don't. But you do lose some storage space, I guess, because of how it slants forward. But I don't mind that because you get the look. And we're gonna check out the back seat for now. Let me move my mic out of the way. All right, back seat is tight, but I was able to fit. But once you back here, 
it's adequate enough short distance uh, around the city maybe a few hours back here you'll be fine um, I wouldn't want to do cross country back here that would suck but uh, here's just a better shot of that interior as you can see it's come a long way long long way it's beautiful 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 Now another thing I didn't tell you earlier, um, with the door closed, it's actually pretty quiet. I don't know how quiet it'd be going down a road with the no road noise and um, things of that nature, but uh, it's pretty quiet. And wow, like I said, I think this, if we can get the if we can get the aftermarket to take notice. So in other words. We need enough people to buy this car and start bugging companies like Gretti and, and um, um, Turbonetics and, and companies like that to make aftermarket parts for this. Start bugging them about it. And that's the only way it's going to it's gonna take off, at least in the aftermarket. But I, I do hope this car sells. This is a very very beautiful car and my opinion I would buy this over a small crossover why do you need a small crossover because you want to set up high I digress I mean that's that's a video for another day because um, in all honesty all honestly uh, most small crossovers have no more room than this really they don't But man, just look at this. Look at that. I didn't even pay attention to that. You see how the line goes across right there? Then it just circles around like boom. Look at that nice design element. And how the stitching just goes up and just breaks up the line so it's not so bland and plain looking. Look at that. Then they got the same thing. The same line goes across. That bead goes and it just use around right there. Look at that, man. Toyota hatchbacks in general. Small economy cars in general. Man, they come a long way. Me, I like small cars. I don't like big, big cars. That's just me. I like my medium to small cars. I like cars that feel nimble. But man, look at this is just ooh. the piano black with the white and the black whoever chose that that did a great job great great job all right let's take a look at the uh, engine real quick and this ladies and gentlemen is the jewel and the brains of the bunch if I could figure out how to open it, there she goes. There's no hydraulics line, so we have this here. That there, which holds it up. This is the jewel. that's begging to be turbocharged see they got a short intake that's supposed to help with a little bit of uh, torque very clean engine setup though engineers is very thoughtful exhaust is on the back side oh and there's plenty of space back there for a turbo See if you can see that. 
Got plenty of space for a turbo. Or, or if you decided to go uh, pro charge, you know, snail on a stick, space up here for that. But man, she, she's she's it's a nice, nice clean setup. Nice clean setup. Is that a filter? Some sort of air filter. Oh, it is. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful setup. Alright guys, well that's it for the uh, Toyota Corolla XSE, I think it's going to be the next hot hatch, I'm trying to hold the phone kind of close because it's windy and I don't have my directional mic hooked up, excuse the wind, uh, but we just need, we just need the, the market to, we need the market to, to take notice, so the only way it's going to really take notice, we need the YouTubers to, to see it, um, we need the um, people to buy it and beg for the parts to be made and that um it'll be made and then once it be once it's made it it'll be the next one i mean the car has the look it has the potential the stick shift though the throws feel long you know make a short throw shifter and, and it'll be fine but um wow this this interior on this car i'll tell you it's it's beautiful so um that's it i want to thank you omar and thank uh toyota of plano north texas you guys was great look up omar if you're in the market for a new toyota or if you're just in the market for a new car don't know what you want come up here to uh toyota of plano ask for omar he'll hook you up all right they got everything here from the trd uh avalon trd camry they got your SUVs, your crossovers, your cars, your hatchbacks. They got it all. They, they got it here. So, if you're in the market for a new Toyota or in the market for a new car, don't know what you want, come up here to Plano Toyota. Ask for Omar. He gonna hook you up. So, until next time, guys, be safe, be quick, burn rubber, baby. We out here. Later.